Part 1. Wes Anderson We all love movies. They're a great source of entertainment and sometimes information. Movies can change your life. Tell a story that's so important to someone that they decide to do the same. In the movies by famed legendary director Wes Anderson, he tells a story from his life. Not directly, but he does pull from his past. In the video, Wes Anderson explains how to write and direct a movie. Wes talks about how, when creating your first film, you should just write it, if that's your role in the production, and then just go out and shoot it. Wes, Wes used depth and perception in his movies a lot. If you look at one of his films, you'll see that the characters and props used in the scene are in a different plane as the background, causing a two-dimensional stop-motion-like feel. This is most evident in his 2014 movie, The Grand Budapest Hotel. In the classic Wes Anderson-style movie, there's a lot of symmetrical shots, wide-angle shots, similar color schemes for the entire room, best featured in the Royal Tenenbaums, and Bill Murray, Owen Wilson, Luke Wilson, and Jason Schwartzman. Part 2. Martin Scorsese <clears throat> In Martin Scorsese's movies, there's a lot of violence. But Martin isn't so different from Wes. In Wes's movies, about halfway, they take a turn for the worse, but still carry the same theme, like the Royal Tenenbaums. Whereas in Martin's movies, they have some of the same symmetrical-like shots and music, but are dark all the way through. Martin grew up in Queens, New York, during the era of the mob. When he pulls from his past, he's really pulling from his past. The mob would tell all of their mothers to take their kids inside at three for about an hour. They take them inside, hear a gunshot, then pull their kids back outside to continue playing. So now we know where Martin Scorsese gets his violence in his movies from. Part 3. Quentin Tarantino People have called Quentin Tarantino the most influential director of the 21st century. Which makes sense. He's directed amazing box office hits, most of which I haven't seen, like Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, and Glorious Bastards, Django, and Love Bridges and Bondage. Wes Anderson doesn't have anything on it in quantity, and sometimes quality. And that's saying something. Quentin says to keep your movies personal. You write something that means a lot to you. He says to bring the pain of your life experiences onto the screen, onto the script and screenplay. Quentin talks about before you shoot, have it all planned in your mind. Picture the shots and have them play out in your mind, like watching the movie before it's shot. Structure your movie like a novel. Say chapter, th say chapter 3 is set two years in the past. Then in chapter 3, part of your film, set it two years in the past. Quote, sit right next to the camera, not by a monitor, unquote. Don't be elsewhere, be right there in the moment, like having the actors act for you and you alone. Not for the camera, not for the screen, and not for the viewers. Part 4. We're all in this together. If you put them all together, then you have an amazing movie with violence, action, and quaint color palettes and symmetrical shots. The story will be amazing, and the camera techniques as well. It seems simple to direct a movie. They can do it, why can't I? But it does take a lot of work and dedication, so I suggest that you find your spark, and once you do, write off the creative rainbow that comes from it and make your movie.